Hi guys, this is a demo to show you some of the new features on the new uh, update to Safari Downloader Plus. Let's get to it. We open Safari. Now for the ones who just bought Safari Downloader Plus, you will get this uh, tutorial. The most important thing is this first one. and You can see this switch. What it is is this little icon that looks like an upside down umbrella. If you press on it and swipe away, it would enable or disable Safari. So be careful. If it's blue, it means it's on. If it's gray, it means it's not on. So before you email me to say that you cannot download it, make sure that this is blue beforehand, okay? So we just skip through this. And let's go to YouTube. Now here is a music video. It's loading. Safari is doing its magic. You can see it spinning. And hopefully it will bring you some options. Now this is just to tell you that this little button here is if you press it and drag it around, you can place it anywhere you want. And if you double click it, it would bring up the options. Now what's new here is the audio only and the video only for 1080p. YouTube has uh, removed 1080p MP4 videos, but you can still download just the video, which I've put here in case you're interested. Now I'm going to download the 360 as my connection is quite, is quite slow. There you are. And you get this little hint, it tells you that if you press on a text, you can actually change the name, which I'm doing here. I'm just going to remove the official uh, text. You can also choose a destination. Now I put all my videos into a video folder, and then you can hit download, and as you can see, it is going. Now the new feature, as I said, is pause. And there you go, I've just paused the download, and if I press again, it should resume it. To cancel it, you can just slide in the normal way. Now, we just wait for this one to finish. And there you are. It is finished. Now, there is an even better thing right here. I'm just going to download another video. I like this one. Let's wait for the magic to happen. And what I'm going to do is, I'll download the video and I'm going to stop the Wi-Fi completely so the download fails. There you are, now watch, as I stop the Wi-Fi, it should fail. Put it back on and if I hit resume, it is going again. There's an even better, even if you completely shut down Safari and go back to it, it should give you the option to resume. Now, I said that I've also introduced um, multi import. Uh, how you do that is by clicking the edit button at the top right corner, edit, and then you can choose which ones you want to import. Now you can see when none is import is great but as you start clicking then it happens. Now just to illustrate the point I'm just going to show you I'm going to I'm going to import Uptime Funk and Royals very quickly. I'll just show you that I don't have them um, on my uh, so Royals that's Lord uh, right, it's not there and I don't have the other one, so just to illustrate. So I'm just going to go back, do that. I'll cancel first, and I'll go back, and I'll do Uptown Funk and Royals, and I hit Import. Now here, you will be printed where you want to import. Now you can choose song, music, video, the, the usual. If you don't want to be prompted all the time for this, you can easily go to the Settings, and the Safari Downloader Plus, and you can see 
here where it says default import action prompt me you can choose for example song you go back if I go back to Safari cancel this and do uptime uptown and Royals and do import it will not prompt me anymore there you go import is now progressing in the background and hopefully if we go back to there you go we have got load right there and we should also have mark there you go mark ransom is right there brilliant uh, one more thing now the downside of a multi import is that you cannot change the artwork now if you want to be able to uh, manipulate all of that you can of course choose the usual option and then you go in you can input track number for example number one change the name if you wish even look for the artwork now you can see the nice smooth animation for this and we just choose let's just put one of them I like I like that one there you go and if you hit import if I go back to finding it Hopefully, it should be somewhere around here. There you go. Okay. You can do the same for the files as well. Now, notice that when you do, when you want to import multiple files, now it is um, intelligent enough to detect which files are uh, importable so if I do the mp3 you can see that import becomes uh, uh, enabled if I do the PDF then it doesn't do it okay one more thing that I would like to say also uh, also is that uh, there, there's a problem with iOS 8 which if you actually click on the video it doesn't play on iOS 8 now to overcome that I had to do a sim link so the files that you download where you choose to download them they are only it's only a link to the original file which is actually under the document for the temp file of Safari uh, uh, application itself this is why I recommend that if you want to delete these files or get rid of them please do it through Safari yeah do it through here it's much better or just if you do the edit you can delete all of them by one click like it says or you can choose which one you would like to delete same thing happens also I recommend that you use Safari Downloader Plus to delete them as you can see these are all links and you can delete them that way I think I've covered everything uh, if I remember anything I will let you know guys so please do enjoy it and please let me have your feedback uh, if you have anything to say thank you and have a lovely day